Where am I? Ah, awake at last. Where am I? You're deep in the mountains of Fenderia. We found you lying unconscious by the lake, kid. Who are you? My name is Gar. I'm a traveler. Thank you very much for rescuing me. Hey there everyone, I'm Palkifanoit, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! So it seems like Stan actually survived a huge fall of out of the Draconis. Good thing, or else the game would be incredibly short and boring. <laughs> I guess you're a little bit tougher than I thought, Stan. Don't mention it. You look like you're doing some traveling yourself. Yes, I, uh, I left home to see the world and maybe even become rich and famous along the way. What were you doing by the lake? I was aboard a flying dragon, but it was attacked by monsters. And then I got into a, into a, a escape pod that was a piece of crap because it got one axe to it and it broke and I fell. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> but I managed to escape from it. A flying dragon was attacked? Is it true? Yes. Hmm. Seems like you had quite an adventure. Oh, by the way. What is it? Um... Ah, your sword. Come this way. So, who is this Gar guy anyway? Looks pretty cool though. It's on the table. <sighs> what a relief. By the way, you have something interesting there. What? I'm talking about the sword. The, the sword? Is there a... Uh, what do you mean? This sword will help you someday. Dumlos will? Do you think so? You'd probably get an answer faster from Dumlos if you ask him. Isn't that right, Dumlos? Whoa, he knows about Dumlos? <laughs> oh, he's shy, how cute. Hey, Dumlos! Uh, dot 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 dot. Hey, I'm talking to you! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't think he likes me. That's right, especially someone with a cynical attitude like you, Gar. Okay. Master Alba. Ah, are you better now? Yes, thanks to you. Well, I'm glad to hear that, my boy. My boy! By the way, Gar. She hasn't returned yet. Can you go look for her? Again? Uh, consider it done. What's going on? Well, his granddaughter went deep into the mountains, but has to return yet. I'm going to look for her. Please, take me with you. Yeah, I need an adventure. This is an RPG after all. But you're still recovering. You should rest. I'd like to do something to repay you for helping me. Well, that's very noble of you, son. I'll take you up on that offer. It'll be dark soon, and I'm a little worried. Alright, then we'll both go. Listen, Stan. What? 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 How do you know my name? Can you read my mind or something? <laughs> something like that. Let's leave it at that for now. We'll get going then. I'm count I'm counting on you two. So that guard guy seems a little suspicious, won't you say? Let's check him out. Oh, level eight. Yeah, I think I know who's going to do the most of the damage in the upcoming area. <laughs> wow, level 8. 904 HP already. Sheesh. This guy is almost a li little bit overpowered. <laughs> but I don't really mind. Anyway, so yeah, we are now in Gar, Alba and that girl's cabin, I suppose. And let's raid the place since we... We're just a guest, so we can raid it. Open this treasure chest for a life bottle. Very nice. And you probably saw that there were two treasure chests in the room where Stan was sleeping. In this one, we get a auto bow. Yes, we also ha we actually have bow users in this game too. And if you check Gar, he actually got a bow equipped. Which means he is a bow user, like you didn't figure that out. <laughs> So, yeah, I actually really like that. I uh, really like when we have bow users in the game, but why would they give us another auto bow since Gar actually got one equipped already? Well, you'll see soon enough. 
And then open this treasure chest for a wood shield. Which we of course want to give to Stan, because for some reason, Gar cannot equip shields. That's a little weird, but okay. A wood shield! Not the greatest, but eh, I'll take what I can get. And I believe there is one more church chest in this place. Oh, no, it's just a bag. Oh, we get another green gel. Very nice. But uh, I think now is a pretty good time for us to uh, talk about our characters a little bit. I waited in until now because I feel like the beginning of the game is a little too urgent, you know, to stop and talk about our character. So I'm going to do it now. What? A 14-year-old girl stuck in the in the woods with bears and killer bunnies in it? Nah, she'll be fine. I mean, she got a weapon, right? No? Uh That she'll be fine. <laughs> So, let's start with Stan, of course, our main character. This is the first time we actually get to see a good picture of him, except for the intro. Anyway, so Stan, he is a massive hothead. Which is fitting, considering he is Sordian, he is Fire Elemental, <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Stan is a hot-headed, lazy country boy. Who loves to shout. God, does he love to shout. <laughs> and as he said, he went on this, uh, this adventure to get fame and fortune. So I guess it's nice that he got some sort of gold, even though it's not really your typical Tales Hero goal. <laughs> but uh, anyway, even though he is a uh, pretty lazy bastard, he is not even close to Reed's level. And Stan is actually quite the goody-good. Uh, if there's something bad happening, Stan will rush to the rescue. Which, yeah, I actually really like Stan as the main character. He is, uh, he's funny and he's a good guy. A little bit lazy and a little bit selfish at times, but all in all he's a good guy. And since Stan is a uh, hothead, does that mean that Gar is an airhead? Kind of spoiler, but does it mean Gar is the airhead? No, not really. Gar is a massive badass. I love this guy. He is probably my favorite character in this game, or at least one of them. He is... yeah, I, I don't really know what to say because he's just... He's awesome. He... He, he's strong, he is, he's a bow user, I love bow users in Tales games, usually, except when they're whiny princesses. <coughs> you didn't hear that from me. And he's just... He is justice! <laughs> I, I can compare Garth to Batman for crying out loud, he's just... The hammer of justice! <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that doesn't really make sense, but... Uh, I can't really say much about Gar right now. With actually, without actually spoiling stuff, but he's an awesome guy, that's really all you need to know, and you'll see later on why I like him so much, he... Yeah, justice. <laughs> God, I'm bad at this. <laughs> anyway, so we should probably go into the woods and try to find that little girl before she get eaten by a bear or a killer bunny, because that will probably not happen, but... I guess we sh we should be sure. <laughs> anyway, we of course have this magic circle on the ground, which will, like in pretty much every Alder Tales game, will let us save. So let's save our game. Ah, uh, PlayStation saving times. Gotta love them. <laughs> and let's go into the forest. Hopefully, we will not get lost. But I don't know. It's a forest maze after all. We might get lost. Maybe, maybe not. But of course, we have battles in here. Surprise, I know. And uh, since Gar is with us, and he's level 8, he should probably be the one that do the most damage, as you saw. He just did 45 points of damage to a killer frost bunny. Yeah. And there we go. No problem. <laughs> Love him. Uh... And I will also say that I really like this music. It's, uh, once again, it's a very uh, urgent feeling behind the music. 
but uh, I, I really like it. Anyway, here we got a life bottle. Very nice, even though no one are actually died yet, but uh, you can't really expect that in the beginning of the game. Ah, the Puyo Bird. I hate these things. I hate every flying enemy in this game because they are so annoying. Because they're flying! <laughs> well, except for the petty devils. But uh, after you hit the bird out of the sky, he will usually not be able to fly again. So just attack him like two more times and he will go down. They don't like them though, because the first hit might be a little bit hard sometimes. Just sometimes. Anyway, let's see. I don't really know my way around here, but it seems like we already found the girl. Chelsea. And she should look a little bit familiar if you watch my Tales of Eternia LP. Yeah, Chelsea was the uh, the person that asked the uh, first batch of questions in the Minz University uh, Namco exam. Gar! Oh, I see. Is there something wrong? Did Grandfather send you here? What does he want now? I think it was saying he needs your help badly. He said something about sewing buttons on his pants. <laughs> Sew buttons on his pants? Oh, he needs me for that? <laughs> he was was a revered master archer. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I like this girl already. <laughs> There's more to it than that. Master is genuinely worried about you. He's afraid that you got lost again. Ah, <sighs> no way, I'm not lost. I was just hanging out with Kiaki and my other friends. We were having so much fun and then we just lost track of time. I'm not lost or anything. I don't deserve to be treated like a baby. <laughs> well, a 14 year old is still a child if you ask me. Oh boy, Gar, you're dead. <laughs> Let's go home before it gets dark. You're treating me like a baby again! <laughs> oh yeah, I really like this one. <laughs> By the way, who is he? Oh, this is Stan. He's on a journey to seek fame and fortune. I'm Stan Aileron. Nice to meet you. How do you do? I'm Chelsea Torn, Master Alba's grand granddaughter. I'm honored to make your acquaintance, sir. Wow! 14-year-old and... Wow, honor to make your acquaintance? Wow, your manners are very good for a 14 year old. Yeah, when I usually talk to 14 year olds, they're just. They just kick me and then call the police. Okay, that came out. <laughs> they came out wrong, I'm sorry. It's hard growing up with a grandfather who can't do anything by himself. <laughs> well, it's hard for the master to have a grandchild who easily gets lost. Oh boy, you know, Gar, you're really not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Fooey! <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> and Chelsea also actually joins your party, so that's why we actually got the auto bow back in the uh, in the cabin because Chelsea can't actually equip the auto bow. Yes, she's an archer too, so we actually have two archers in our party now. That's uh, that's interesting. So let's check her out, shall we? Oh, still there's the frost bunnies. Oh well. Chelsea, can you shoot some dude? Chelsea, do something. Wow, what the heck is going on with her? She got a weapon, she doesn't do anything, but okay. <laughs> now, I don't really mind. Stan and Gar are definitely capable of taking out some bunnies. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, there we go. That's the bear I was talking about earlier. So if we if we kill this thing, will we will we become monsters too? I don't doubt it, but it would be interesting. Oh, guard knuckle to the face! <laughs> Told ya, Habers of justice. <laughs> yeah, I love Gar. When he doesn't shoot his bow, he punched the enemy. How awesome isn't that? Well. Chester did that too, but screw Chester! Gar is ten times the man that Chester is. Okay, there we go. I believe I forgot one treasure chest in the forest, but it was just a cloak, and I don't, don't really care about that. Anyway... Ah, you're back! Yes, we just got here. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I think you saw that. I'm glad all of you are safe. Grandpa, can you fix your own pants? Now, calm down, child. You've got plenty of time to fix it. No, I don't! Really? Of course, I, I can't keep doing everything for you for the rest of my life. Oh, don't worry, he's gonna die long before you. Chelsea, that's more than enough. Gar, you're on his side too. You shouldn't spoil Grandpa like that. Uh, I have to put my foot down like this to make him understand my point. I see. Is this how you young ones gang up and abuse a helpless old man? <laughs> Who's the helpless old man? Have you no gratitude for the one who has taken care of you so far? Uh, I think I'm going to be depressed. Okay, I'll fix your pants, but just this one last time only. Oh, goody. Chelsea is so guy. <laughs> I really like this old fart too, it's funny. <laughs> and manipulative, which I like. <sighs> and sadly, Chelsea just left the party, that's why I didn't really go over her as a character. Master, what do you mean by gang up and treat you badly? It's just a figure of speech, son. Don't dwell on it too much. Oh yes, I should give you two a reward for finding Chelsea. Master, please, a reward for adults like us? Well then, Gar, there's no reward for you. <laughs> Let's see. You are Stan, right? H yes, sir. Here, I'll give you this. And we got the melange gel. Okay, that's not bad. Free melange gel as a part of the story? Not bad at all. Well, there's no need for us to stand around here freezing like this. Let's go back inside the cabin. Slowly. <laughs> but yeah, the beginning of this game is a bit slow, but after you get off the Draconis, I I feel like the story starts going pretty well, and we get to meet some very fun characters like Chelsea, Gar, and Alba. I really like these three. <laughs> By the way, where were you heading to before we found you? I was going to Darius Shield in the Kingdom of Singald. Hmm, Singald. You'll need to pass through Janos to get there from here. Or Janos, or I always said Janos, so I'm just gonna keep on saying that. Janos? It's a border town down to the southwest between Zingold and Fandaria. I can take you to Janos if you want. How about it? Y yeah, thank you. Gar, are you coming back? Not right away, Master. I'm thinking about going back to my home temporarily. I see. Then give my regards to your father. What? You're leaving me, Gar? <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's not like I have a lot of free time on my hands. Phooey! <laughs> oh, behave! Oh god, I can't believe I said that. I'll come back again. Chester will wait impatiently for you. Okay, why did you just say her name like that? Is she one of those? I don't know. Hey, hey, don't get so serious. Thank you for everything. Take care of yourself, son. Shall we get going, Stan? Sure. Uh, can you join me again, Chelsea? You're funny. Gar, please come and see me again. I'll be waiting for you. Wow, she is so balls deep. In love with him, <laughs> it's insane. How about you, Alba? Janos is at west from here, be careful. Okay, thank you. So, yeah. Our next stop is the border town Janos, which we are, of course, gonna go to next time. And I must say, I'm so glad that I got this guy in my party this early in the game. I know I've been talking about that a lot in this video, but I love Gar. I don't know why he is so overlooked by people. There, I, I don't even, I believe there's not even a DLC costume in later games of Gar. It's, it's sad. <laughs> anyway, next time we are going to the border town of Janos. So, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.